Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, September 9th, 2019. I'm Lindsay Duff, and this is Responsible Day Trading. <laughs> Uh, this week I am house sitting for one of my best friends and I'm really house sitting for her pups who are, who are out here. One just got out of the pool there a minute ago. I got a couple more sitting around waiting for me. There's one inside and, um, I decided I was going to use this time to really work on, uh, some of the stuff that I've been working on. It did not even bring an extra screen with me, which I would normally do. Um, so I'm not trading at all this week. And, um, <clears throat> that's okay with me because I have the last week or so I've been really struggling to trade. I've sat in front of it. I've watched it. It was slow. It was like watching paint dry. It was almost painful. So what happens was, as I was sitting there for an hour, hour and a half, not trading anything. And then my time is used up because I have a limited amount of time during the day before I got to pick up the kids. So... I decided this time I'm not trading this week. I have some work I want to do on the curriculum, which will um, update everything. I need to do some updates. I created that curriculum about a year and a half ago, and at that time I used five charts, and then I went down to four, and now I'm down to three. So I really want to implement all of that into that. Are all the charts still valid? Absolutely they're still valid. I just don't believe that we need them all, especially if we want to travel to trade. So I could trade while I'm here today, and I thought about it, but I also thought about how some of that not trading is because in the back of my mind, what I was saying was, oh man, I want to get this stuff done, I want to get this stuff done, so let me trade real quick so I can get this stuff done, and when that doesn't work for me, I won't take proper trades or I won't take trades at all because my mind is not in the right place. So I am most definitely, I just wanted to let y'all know I'm taking all of this week off, might be taking all of next week off as well because I'm going to get all these videos updated and on the website and uh, have things ready to roll. I've got some new things that will be coming out pretty soon that I'm super excited about, um, but I got to get some work done on them. So that means I'll be taking the next week or so off. Now, does that mean you won't hear from me or see me at all? No, I'm still going to be a little, I'm going to be in with y'all. I'm going to be doing some writing about some trading, some things that I've really wanted to get out for a while. And we're going to get that out. And uh, you guys can definitely communicate with me, email me, text me, message me through Facebook. I know a lot of you got my personal phone number. So just stay in touch with me. Uh, students, if you've got homework, send it. I will be happy to look through it, get it done. Because honestly, helping y'all to do better really does remind me where my mind is and helps me to do better every day. I'm reading a book. I actually just finished this book this morning called Atomic Habits, and it's about growing your habits each day by 1%. And man, let me tell you, that can make such a difference. And it talks a lot about uh, accountability and checking through your own work every day and um, seeing where you can improve. And so knowing that there's uh, some things that I want to do and I want to have quality, quality information out for my students. So I'm going to be spending the next week or two getting on that. And then we're going to, I'm going to start having a set schedule at the days where I trade. So I'm not exactly sure how that schedule is going to go yet. Um, I may set it out each week, like maybe this week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I trade next week, Tuesday, Thursday. It'll depend on when bigger news is. It'll also depend on, you know, what happens in my daily life, which one of the things they oh. say in this atomic habits is that the difference between an amateur and professional is that the amateur lets daily life get in the way. The professional stays the course. And so um, having some set days to uh, have some trading done is going to be very important uh, in the upcoming future for myself. Now, I know we do do the we do do this so that we can have our freedom, but our freedom also every bit of freedom comes at what we like to say a cost. And that cost is doing better for ourselves, setting schedules, sticking to them. And really just working to improve every day. But guys, that's going to wrap it up. So, um, like I said, stay in touch with me. And uh, maybe I'll have another video out for you in a few days. But otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the profitable side.